guys can't even see anything. I'm gonna find a light to stand under. Come to Byron this morning to chase the sunrise. Um, fully out of my comfort zone because I came down here all by myself, not knowing where I'm going, but fighting the fear, feeling it and doing it anyway. So, there's a lot of feels in the uh, car, especially getting here. Oh my goodness, seriously, just climbing up all the stairs. It's actually pretty awesome. I wish you could see, but I also am looking forward to the sunrise more than you guys see what I'm doing right now. here not so much the beauty of the sunrise <laughs> let's go find somewhere to have chats <laughs> so I just wanted to share a quick story while I'm at the top of the lighthouse uh, getting here this morning was not the easiest for me um, I have a lot of anxiety about driving in places where I don't know and I know you're probably thinking like Leisha just use your GPS it's fine well it's actually broken um, and this morning I decided to use that phone to do a time-lapse for you all and I don't know if I put it in the vlog or not because I had a look at it and it's not the greatest but it has a story so I was setting up my time-lapse for this vlog to put beautiful picture of the not so apparent sunrise in my vlog and I was setting it up and I didn't know how to do it on this camera so I was doing it on my iPhone and when I grabbed my iPhone out within literally the first five seconds or so I don't know if you can see it but uh I cracked my phone now I know you're probably thinking oh my god you should look after your stuff a little bit better but and to be honest, I was beating myself up about that. And then I thought, well, Alicia, if you didn't even try, you wouldn't have even got the shot. You wouldn't have even got anything. And that was literally your first attempt. If you wrap everything up in bubble wrap, you're never gonna get any shot. Like, you're not gonna get any good footage for your vlog. You have to try. And the first shot isn't always gonna be your best, and you've just gotta keep trying until you know you get that good shot and eventually you will you just got to keep giving it your best because you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take in life so you can either choose to not try and get nowhere or you can give it a go and you know fail or learn or grow or be successful but you're not going to be any of those things if you don't give it a go i guess um they're my share feels this morning a little bit disappointed that the sun didn't show up for me. I think I was like a little bit, um, a little bit excited about the possibility of getting another shot like I had last weekend um, at Gold Coast, which I'll show you here on, on my Instagram. You probably haven't seen it, but it was amazing. And I just want that again. But sometimes you don't always get what you want, so there you go.
So I don't know, there's not much of a sunrise this morning, but I might go and get coffee and then head back up to Brisbane. Um, because I'm currently in Byron. And then I will upload my vlog and do some meal prep because I haven't been the best after the sugar and the jumping castle, I'm sure you've seen that. Um, yeah, meal prep because some new spices. Um, what else? I've got? I've got to train shoulders. I want to go up and me to train shoulders with you guys, so I'll do that as well. Pretty much a wrap of my not so sunrise morning. Thoughts and feels though. Last time I did those stairs was about that was about two years on my birthday, and when I did them, I was so unfit. Like insert photo here. This time it just felt like a literally stroll up those stairs. So progress. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Stick it out. Keep trying new things, doing what you love, and you will get there. That's it. So I'm finally sharing with you guys my shoulder workout. So I'm going to start here with an overhead press. Uh, now this I like to go a little bit heavy on, but I'm just warming up here with the bar that you see in my film. So you don't need to go all the way down in this movement, literally to the chin and back up. So from there, I went on to, and I'm getting a little bit excited here. Ahead of town, ahead of schedule, getting some pump in, that's where it's at. Into the rear delt. So rear delt flies. It is my weakness. I like to spend a little bit more time on this exercise. Usually do it bent over, but I wanted to demonstrate on the incline today just to show you how to support your back whilst doing this exercise. So really want to feel that tension between your shoulder blades when you're lifting the dumbbells. And if you can't physically lift that weight, then you should probably drop down. So you really want the muscle and mind connection in this movement. From there, I went on to an upright row. This is really activating the front of the delt. So I superseted these two exercises just to get both activation of rear and front delts in this set. So a little bit of back mirror in there. It's got nothing to do with my front, but there you go. So from this, I did a little bit of an experimental exercise, which I do like to do when I'm training in the gym because it's so easy to get into your comfort zone. So I try and mix things up a little bit. Here I'm using the low row machine, for, which is actually for your back, but I'm using this as an isolated exercise for my shoulders, just like a push press, but activating one at a time. So what you see here is me using that low row machine, but the weighted side to push upwards, really focusing on that front and top of the ankle. Am I making that up? Probably. Straight into the superset here with the side lateral raise. This one's awesome, bringing out that boulder, that really round shoulder muscle that all you girls are looking for in your head. So here I am just pulsating, so I'm trying to really activate my muscle. And this also shows me that I am lifting the right way. If I can't hold it up to the movement, then once again, it's really heavy. Finishing the workout with some more rear delts because they are my weakness. I like to spend a little bit more time. Uh, this is the machine you can also do chest press with, but I really like it for rear delts. I do it on back day and shoulder day. But this is pretty much the end of my workout and the end of my voiceover. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put in my sets for the description for you. Uh, but enjoy. Flex and we're done. It tastes like terrible. <laughs> <laughs>